Hi guys, I'm Hugo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're making sweet potato massaman curry. Massaman curry is one of my favorite curries. It's creamy, fragrant and mild. It's a perfect curry to serve to guys who don't really like uh, too much heat or too much spice. It's really mild and really fragrant and has packed tons and tons of flavor. Today we're gonna to be making it with sweet potato and spring greens, but this recipe is really versatile and you can use it with basically whatever veggies you wanna throw into the base sauce. Today we're gonna to be making the curry paste from scratch. It's a completely vegan curry paste so it doesn't have any fish sauce or any other kind of non-vegan ingredients um, and it works amazingly uh, as like a batch ingredient that you can keep in the fridge and just use when you need. But you can also make this recipe with just Massaman curry paste that you buy from the supermarket and I'll explain a little bit more about that later. You're gonna love this recipe guys. It's super easy, fragrant, delicious. Let's get into it now. Okay, first for the recipe, we're going to make our curry paste. Now, uh, in order to make this curry paste, we're gonna first roast some of the veggies that is gonna make the base of this sauce or this rich curry paste. And so here I've got five shallots, two heads of garlic, uh, a rough inch sized thumb of uh, ginger, and I've got two sticks of lemongrass. Now I'm just gonna loosely chop the lemongrass, just tail, top and tail it first, and then just roughly chop it. Doesn't really matter how finely you chop it, you just need to have a rough dice. Whoops, just lost some of the lemongrass there. Um, and then we're just gonna loosely chop some of the ginger as well. Just place it into the bowl along with the rest of these guys. And I'm just gonna pour over about a tablespoon of vegetable oil and just mix that in with these veggies. Okay. And now we're gonna place this into a 200 degrees centigrade oven, centigrade Celsius, Celsius oven, um, for about 20 minutes until the shallots are really nicely cooked and are starting to ooze out. And you can see that the garlic heads itself are kind of oozing out as well. Okay, I'm just gonna whack that in now. Okay, so while the aromatic vegetables are roasting in the oven, um, I'm gonna go ahead and toast the spices that are gonna make up the curry paste. And I realized I've actually got to switch this out for um, the uh, induction hob, so bear with me while I do that. Right, now we have the induction hob in play. I'm just gonna grab a frying pan and we're just gonna put in about a tablespoon of vegetable oil um, and then I'm gonna toast my spices. So the spices that I have are two cloves, I've got six black peppercorns, I've got a teaspoon of cumin seeds, I've got a teaspoon of coriander seeds and I've got two cardamom pods. So I'm just gonna fry this on medium high until the fragrances start to be released from the spices and I start to get quite a good aroma coming from them. So it's been about a minute and um, the spices are nicely giving off some really strong aromas here and I can see that the uh, oil is nicely bubbling away. So I'm gonna turn that off and actually take the pan off the heat and leave it on the side until we need it later. I'm gonna switch out the induction hob again for the blender and hopefully by that time our uh, veggies roasted should be done. Right, so our aromatics vegetables are done. They've roasted nicely there. Um, you can see they're nicely golden brown. You just wanna let this cool for about five minutes or so because we're gonna squeeze out um, the innards of the shallots and the garlic into the blender and it's gonna be quite hot to handle unless you have asbestos hands like me. Uh, so just leave it to cool down just a little bit before you try and handle this. So you wanna grab a couple of bowls that you can use one to squeeze out the uh, vegetable innards into and one just to discard your, you know, the external um, skins, that's the word I'm looking for, into. Okay, so uh, firstly the shallots, You'll, you'll see that uh, you can basically just pinch these at one end and it will just come out, well, not like that, it will come out whole. Oh, these are still pretty hot actually. So um, I might actually have to wait a little bit. Uh, but basically just remove the skin and discard them into there. And you're gonna do this for all of the shallots and, um, and the garlic as well. 
Okay, so two heads of garlic and five uh, shallots later. Uh, you can see there that we've nicely squeezed out all of the innards of the veggies. Uh, and it quite burnt some of my hands because I didn't wait for it to cool down enough, but that's all good. Uh, and we're gonna pop this into the blender here. And all of the rest of the veggies as well. Now those veggies are in there, we're just going to uh, pour in the spice mixture that we toasted earlier along with the oil, don't worry. And then I have three dried red chilies that I've soaked in boiling water for about 20 to 30 minutes just so they get nice and soft. I'm just gonna chuck these in as well. Now if you don't, if you can't find dried red chilies or dried red finger chilies, um, uh, just normal fresh chilies will do fine. Uh, I normally use about one and a half to maybe one uh, red chili. So we're just gonna close the lid on that and then I'm gonna blitz it until it's a smooth paste. Okay, that's looking nice and pureed. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this, I'm just gonna get this out into a bowl and we'll move on to actually making the uh, masman curry itself. So you go uh, nicely into the bowl uh, and as I said at the start, uh, this is gonna make about three or four curries. So There's quite a large amount of curry paste there. We're only gonna use two tablespoons of this today in the actual recipe. So you keep it in the fridge and you can use it for more curries or you can use it for soups, uh, whatever you wanna kind of really add flavor and, and aromatics to, this is great for. Um, cool, we'll switch this out and then let's get on to the curry. Okay, so let's make our sweet potato massman curry. Um, and first thing we wanna do is just slice up the sweet potatoes themselves. So I've got here about um, one large and two small uh, sweet potatoes. Uh, the recipe actually calls for two large uh, sweet potatoes, but you know, obviously just mix and match. Um, and we're going to slice these into probably about half centimeter thick um, moons or circles. You just wanna do that for the whole of the uh, sweet potatoes. And don't worry about peeling the sweet potatoes. I've just given these a quick scrub before, um, before prepping and chopping these, but they're gonna, the skins are perfectly edible and it's gonna be really nice in the sauce. Okay, sweet potato nicely prepped there into our good circles. Um, and then I'm just gonna chop up, finely dice a onion. Okay, so nicely chopped as you can see there. Um, Right, and finally we're gonna just prep some spring greens that are gonna go in the base of the curry just to give it some color, give it some freshness, etc. Uh, you can use whatever greens you want. Spring greens are just in season now, but you know you can use cabbages, you can use kales, you can use caballero nero, whatever you, you want to throw in there will we'll just work with the sauce. Um, to prep these uh, spring greens. I'm going to remove the uh, the hard stalks of these because just because these are looking a little bit worse for wear and it's going to be a bit bitter. Um, and the way to do that is just line them up like so, and then you can just take out all at once. Just pull them out. And then we're going to shred these into ribbons. So the easy way to do that is just fold it over and then just roll it up like so, and we're just gonna shred down like this. There we go, nicely chopped. Okay, now everything's nicely prepped, let's get on with making the curry. So I'm gonna first heat about, again, a tablespoon of vegetable oil in a deep saute pan. You can use just a normal, um, normal saucepan, will work absolutely fine. And I'm gonna toast some spices in this again, so yes, the curry paste, if you watch that segment, uses a lot of spices. The actual curry itself is also gonna add some extra spices on top of that to give it some real breadth of flavor. So here I have, I think, five cloves. I've got three cardamom pods, and two star anise, and then I've got one um, medium stick of ginger. I mean, not ginger, I mean cinnamon. And we're just gonna toast these in the oil for about a minute or so until it starts to give off some fragrance. Okay, perfect. Our, our spices are nicely toasting now um, and I don't want to over spice, over toast them. So I'm just gonna toss in uh, two tablespoons of our curry paste that we made earlier. Again, if you're using your own curry paste, uh, just toss it in now as well, same quantities. And we're just gonna fry that for a little bit until it starts to uh, take some color. 
Okay, now I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of soy sauce and two tablespoons of just caster sugar. And just give that a little mix. And then we're just gonna pour in uh, the chopped onion that we did earlier. And all of the sweet potato. Just give it a quick stir, just to combine and evenly coat the sweet potato. And then I'm gonna tip in a can of coconut milk and 200 ml of just plain vegetable stock. I'm just gonna give this a stir uh, and bring it up to a simmer just so everything nicely combines. Now this is nicely simmering away, it, the sauce is evenly combined. I'm just gonna turn it down and just keep it at a simmer uh, for 20 minutes until the sauce is nicely thickened and that sweet potato is really cooked and soft. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes or so and the sauce has nicely thickened down and we've cooked off the sweet potatoes until they're quite soft. Um, they still wanna have a little bit of a bite so they still hold together, um, so don't overcook them but after about 20 to 25 minutes or so, they should be nicely cooked and nicely soft. Okay, so I'm gonna actually just turn off the pan and we're just gonna chuck in the uh, greens, okay? And these are not gonna need any extra heat. We're just gonna stir them into the sauce and they're gonna wilt away. So after about 20 seconds or so, that, uh, those greens are nicely cooked down. Don't worry about uh, cooking them anymore. They'll just be nicely soft and nicely, uh, nicely done. Okay. Massa man, sweet potato, mass man curry, done, that's it, enjoy. Okay guys, there you have it, sweet potato, mass man curry. As I said at the start, amazing, super excellent, uh, versatile curry that is gonna please anyone, anyhow, anywhere. Um, you know, it's not super spicy, it's mild, but it's fragrant and delicious. And you can use it with whatever veggies you want. You know, I've used sweet potato and spring greens, but literally bung in any vegetables that you want in there. Uh, if you've liked the recipe, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more recipes. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. The full recipe is in the description, so be sure to check that out as along with the other recipes. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Dun, 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 dun.